Hurricane Francine just made landfall in South Louisiana. 10 Tampa Bay meteorologist Colleen Campbell tracking this storm category two, right Colleen? Yes, David, it strengthened to that category two status right ahead of landfall. We saw that northern slice of the eye wall approaching land and now, yes, we do have landfall at the parish of Terrebonne, which is about 30 miles southwest of Morgan City. Morgan City is an area that we have been mentioning a lot lately as well. So here is that eye. You can see that satellite and radar imagery as uh, Hurricane Francine continues to move inland. So over the next few days here, we're going to track it straight up to the north across states like Mississippi. That's really going to feel the impacts outside of Louisiana in the next 24 and 48 hours. Right now, those tropical storm warnings, as well as those hurricane warnings highlighted in the red and the blue just for that southern slice of Louisiana and moving into the southern slice of Mississippi. Uh, cuts off right before we get to the Florida panhandle. No effects for our region. However, going deeper into the tropics here, now we're in the Atlantic Basin and we have several other systems we have our eye on. These three do have a low chance of formation within the next week. However, you see this guy over here, that is Tropical Depression 7 and it will likely turn into our next name system. Next name up on the list will be Gordon. So we're expecting this system right here that we're now looking at, uh, Tropical Depression 7 to eventually turn into Tropical Storm Gordon. It is currently placed slightly west of the Cape Verde Islands.